Okay, I'd like to talk today a little bit about dust collection on uh, on your CNC router. Um, let me first start off by saying I'm a, I'm a big fan of YouTube videos. Uh, I subscribe to uh, three or four different people that, that always have a lot of interesting videos, and and one uh, one guy in particular is uh, Radio Shack Seven. Uh, I believe his website is neo7cnc.com, and uh, he has uh, a lot of uh, uh, very useful videos about about CNCs, uh, uh, just all kinds of different things. You name it, he's got it on there. So uh, I, I enjoy watching his videos. And I was watching, uh, I think something he posted, I don't know, sometime last year, I believe it was. Uh, and I was watching it a few months ago, and he had uh, he was showing how to make a dust collection uh, hood or whatever you want to call this thing. But uh, anyway, I kind of took a design uh, very similar to his and uh, uh, made this thing here and it's turned out to be very effective so I thought I would uh, kind of show uh, what I've done here and maybe somebody might want to try to copy mine or if they want the plans I can uh, uh, give those to you as well. But anyway, mine is uh, just simple two pieces. I've got my, uh, my hose here that runs to the back of my machine. I've just got to connect it to a simple shop vac. Um, the, the way this works is I've got a, a two sections. I've got the lower section here, which has the, uh, the clear skirt. That's one thing I did different than, uh, than the other guy. He used some uh, brushes, uh, which, which worked really well. But I, I want to be able to see a little bit, um, you know, kind of see what's going on with the bit under there. So I, I went with some, uh, some uh, strip material that's, uh, that you can get from a master car. Uh, pretty cheap. So if anybody wants a number of that, I can I can get that McMaster car part number for you. Uh, anyway, the uh, top piece. Let me take this loose so you can see how that works. What I did is I the top piece is just a plain piece. I've got a three and a half inch diameter hole, or maybe a little bigger. It goes around my uh, Porter cable. I use the Porter cable 690, which is a very common router, and a lot of them are the three and a half inch. Uh, and what I did is I took a piece of a uh, half inch shaft and fit it into one of these holes where it fit real snug, but I also drilled a hole through the shaft and tapped it so that when I tighten the screw down it'll, it'll fit really snug. And you can see some magnets here that kind of correspond to the uh, washers here to help hold it up. Uh, one problem I did run into when I did this, the magnets that I used once I glued them in there, I thought they were going to be strong enough to hold this thing up, and they do hold it up for the most part, but uh, as I'm cutting, it would tend to uh, get knocked apart. So what I did, as you can see, I've got a little screw here sticking out, and I've got a little, couple little clips. I've got one back here and one over here, so I can just slide this on and uh, spin these clips around. And that will hold it on pretty sturdy, so uh, it hasn't, hasn't come off on cutting, and then of course just the uh, vacuum mount goes here. But uh, to change a tool, um, the way this works, because it's uh, in two pieces here, I can just drop this down, set that out of the way, and you can see that I can easily get to the, uh, the collet here to, to change the bit out. In fact, I'm going to change the bit out here real quick. And I have a straight cutter in there. So put in a 90 degree uh, V-bit just for uh, the purpose of this demonstration. So I just tighten this back up. And then I can easily slip this back down. But what I do is before I put the hood back on, I'll uh, set my Z uh, to my material. So I can bring this on down. And the way I do it, I use a very high-tech way, as you'll see, I turn my controller off and I use this high-tech probe, I call it a piece of paper, and I can just lower this down until that's just starting to grab the paper. And I can turn my controller back on, make sure I've hit reference all home in Mach 3, and then I can raise this up, pull the paper out. And I'm, I'm ready to go, I'm right at the top of the material. I'm going to raise this back up a little bit. 
slide this on, put the clips in place to hold it, and then I'm ready to go. So I'm going to cut just a little demonstration here so you can see that the uh, how well the dust collection works. Okay, I'm not sure how good you're going to be able to see from the uh, video here. So, but the uh, dust collection is very effective. I, I used uh, three-quarter MDF for this little demonstration because MDF is really dusty and messy and the stuff just goes everywhere if you don't use dust collection. But because this, uh, because this, this uh, little uh, dust collection unit I made, like I, like I showed the, uh, the milled pocket, um, I mean, there's literally nothing on this on this sample. It really uh, it really does a very effective job. There's a little bit there. It doesn't get it all, but it uh, does a pretty effective job. And, and like I said, the uh, the way the reason it's so effective now is the the air from the router comes in from the top and blows out the bottom. But because of this pocket, all the air is directed out the side so it's not blowing it all around where it would blow it out from underneath this and seems to seems to work uh, really well I've been, been very pleased with it as far as uh, keeping my shop a little cleaner but uh, and also you notice that I have this uh, this other board because when I have this piece clamped down if it's uh, this one isn't that bad because it wasn't near the edge but when you get near the edge here this this part will hang over well, if there's not something there to kind of help keep the seal it uh, it'll blow dust down over in here so I always try to put something there the same height to, to try to hold the seal on that uh, and also if you're wondering what the heck this thing is this is nothing more than a uh, piece of a t-shirt that I just cut a little square off of and I, I've got just a little plastic tie and I put that on and you can see that it uh, has protected the, uh, the top of the router from getting a lot of a lot of dust and crud down in there that, that's surely not good for the for the router. So I didn't realize how much was going in there until I I thought I'd put that on there one time and try it, and then I was amazed at how much dust. Not not so much when I'm using the dust collection, but but whenever I'm cutting without it, uh, the stuff gets floating around in the air and stuff, and then it tries to get sucked back down through there. So I keep that there just to try to keep it out of the motor. But anyway, that's uh, the little demonstration of the dust collection. If anybody's got any comments or questions, uh, feel free to post those or uh, let me know about them. Uh, if anybody would like the plans to, uh, to make one of these, if you've got a K2 CNC router mount like this, uh, you know, this would work well. I've got, I've got uh, plans drawn up for this, so if anybody wants that, uh, let me know. And... Uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and keep watching for future videos. Thank you.